Hello everyone. Welcome again to our home gym. Our workout for today are a few cable exercise for biceps and forearm exercise. But before we proceed to our bicep exercise, we will have some bicep and forearm stretching, arm rotation, and hip rotation. Warm up won't help much in burning calories or building muscle, but it reduces your muscle soreness and lessen your injury. Also, cooling down after your workout allows for a gradual recovery of pre-exercise heart rate and blood pressure. Again, welcome to those new in this channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe for more coming workout videos. We are now preparing for our first workout, which is the one arm cable curl by the way what we are going to do today are all cable exercise for biceps so if ever our dumbbells and barbells for biceps exercise are not available so we'll have our option using cable bicep exercise our first exercise is one arm cable curl four sets of 15 to 6 reps One arm cable curl or biceps cable curl is an isolation exercise for the upper arm biceps muscle. It's a pulling action performed with a cable machine and is suitable for beginners. The cable curl is performed standing facing one end of a cable machine with the cable fixed at the bottom of the machine and set with an appropriate weight this exercise can be used as part of an upper body strengthening program or muscle building program this exercise provides an alternative to the dumbbell or barbell the cables provides a constant tension that dumbbells don't provide The primary target of cable curl is the bicep brachii muscle. This is the muscle that flexes the elbow, which is why it is work when you curl the arm. It connects the scapula with the radius of the forearm. Synergistic muscles work during the cable curl are the brachialis and the brachioradialis, which are also used when flexing the elbow. You use the biceps brachii every time you raise your arm or bend your elbow. Strong biceps help you pick up and carry objects such as boxes, grocery bags, laundry basket, or cradle a child. Beyond looking muscular or toned, having strong biceps makes daily life a little easier. You should be spending at least 2 seconds for each pace of the curl, both up and down. Hold for at least a second when at maximum contraction. At the end of each rep, the weights should still be suspended rather than dropping them into the stop. Keeping the cable, therefore your muscles under tension will enhance the effectiveness of this exercise. Your forearm should be the only body part moving during this exercise. If you find yourself swaying, rounding or hollowing the back, jerking the shoulders or moving the hips, you are not stabilizing yourself well. This is a common sign that you are lifting too heavy of a weight 
and cheating by using momentum rather than steady contraction. If you want to make the cable curves harder, add more resistance or step farther away from the cable machine to make cable curves harder. The angle forces the biceps to work harder in the contracted position. Our next exercise is straight bar cable curl of 4 sets by 15 to 6 reps. Cable bar curls or straight bar cable curls are a more isolated exercise. They isolate the bicep with fewer synergistic muscles participating in the movement. This cable bar curls provides a more constant tension on the muscle. Using this exercise, there's a constant tension on the biceps throughout the entire range of motion. And because of this, the strength curve is much different when compared to the barbell curl. For the barbell curl, it's harder at the bottom and gets progressively easier as you reach the top of the ROM or range of motion. Using the cable curl, the difficulty remains the same from start to finish. You can get progressively stronger over time, but the cable curl doesn't really allow you to handle really heavy weights. This is because most cable weight stacks don't go high enough in weight. And using momentum to push through the concentric phase of the movement can be very difficult compared to the parallel curl. If your workouts are getting boring, the cable curl will give you the opportunity to introduce variety in your training. With cables, you can drop the pulley all the way down and perform a standing cable curl.
Our third exercise is one arm cable preacher curl. Three sets of 12 to 6 reps. One arm cable preacher curl is done with lighter weights so that you can perform the movements through a larger range of motion in a controlled way. This movement allows you to work on perfecting the form and helps you build a strong mind-muscle connection so that you can activate a muscle mentally. Do the exercise at a slow pace, controlling the movement throughout the set. Avoid posing for an extended period so that you do not end up resting your arms at the top. The cable preacher curl provides the opportunity for greatest control over the movement. Having your arms resting on a stable surface means there is no room for swinging. When doing a regular standing curl, some of this control is lost through hip and torso movement. The added control the preacher curl provides means that more load is placed on your biceps and forearms. The position of your arms in this exercise does not allow for other muscles to be recruited for help. Your biceps work in isolation. One of the standout benefits of this type of curl is the focus on negative movement. Negative movement refers to the lengthening of muscles under load. This can be observed in the eccentric pace of the exercise. The stability of the preacher bench allows you to emphasize the eccentric pace of the exercise. Releasing out of the curl should be done slowly. This enhances growth and strength to your biceps. Our fourth exercise is one arm hammer curl of three sets by 15 to 8 reps. One arm hammer curls or cable hammer curls target your wrist and forearms, not just your biceps, and building grip strength. Moving the weight in a hammering motion forces your muscles to work harder, allowing for better gains. Common for mistakes including swaying of the torso during the movement, performing the exercise too fast, and not gripping firmly enough. Swaying or moving your torso from side to side as you perform reps is a form of cheating. In that way, you take tension off your arms and place it on your back and core muscles. If that sounds like you, then drop the resistance level that you are using up for a lower weight and notice how much more sensation you feel from a trick curl. The cable rope also assists in the upward motion which allows you to really squeeze the biceps muscle at the top for a peak contraction. 
Those are important because of the way they work your arms. The biceps typically get all the attention, but the area of the arm we think of as the biceps actually includes two other major muscles, the brachialis and brachioradialis. The brachialis sits under your biceps and the brachioradialis is a long muscle that runs from deep inside the center of your upper arm to the center of your forearm. Unlike other variations of the hammer curls, the rope attached on the end of the cable machine assists to give you the freedom to dictate the gap you require with minimum limitations and or a fixed motion. It also helps with your grip due to the fact that you will be holding the rope tightly with your thumbs facing up. Hammer curls help build the brachialis and brachioradialis in a way other curl variations simply do not, allowing you to develop additional strength and size. Our fifth exercise is reverse wrist curl, three sets of 15 reps. This exercise works the forearm extensors, the brachioradialis and the biceps muscle. Pronated or reverse wrist curl build the wrist extensors. The reverse dumbbell wrist curl is identical to the standard dumbbell wrist curl except you take a reverse overhand grip on the dumbbells, palms turn down. Many people prefer dumbbells for reverse wrist curls because they place less strain on the wrist and they allow a longer range of motion so try using a dumbbells either lifting both simultaneously or one at a time you probably won't be able to use as much weight as you can with an underhand grip always use lighter weight than you would for the forearm curl Our sixth exercise is dumbbell wrist curl, 
we will perform for 3 sets of 12 reps Wrist curls mainly target the muscles in the forearm This is an isolation movement which means this exercise isolates the muscles it is intended to work Compared to compound movements, isolation movements are effective at correcting weakness and improving the strength of a specific muscle My flexor muscles are quite pumped already This is the last set of our exercise and last of the exercise we will perform today This is the end of our program. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from today's video. Till next time, I'm out.